What were prehistoric humans doing 100,000 years back before the existence of television, TikTok, Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, and that new trendy phone you're eyeing? Let's go on an adventure way back before anyone could read or write. We're traveling to the prehistoric ages, a vast stretch of time that shaped human life as we know it today. But before we go any further, make sure you like this video and subscribe now, or this hairy centipede will crawl all over your face while you sleep tonight. You've probably heard about Stonehenge, the megalithic structures that were built by the prehistoric people. Yeah, you heard that right. It's situated in England. Now the big question is in what prehistoric era was the Stonehenge built and what other activities occurred 100,000 years ago? Let me paint a picture for you about our ancient relatives from around 100,000 years ago. While they looked a whole lot like you and me on the outside, their way of life was totally different. These prehistoric humans lived in small, tight-knit family groups, nothing like the big cities and towns we have today. Their societies were just a handful of parents, children, aunts, uncles, and grandparents, all traveling and migrating together. Imagine the scene. The whole extended family tribe, maybe 20 or 30 folks, journeying across wide open lands, setting up camp wherever they could find food and shelter. No fancy homes or apartment buildings back then. When the resources ran out in one area, they'd pack up and move on to the next spot. With such a simple, rugged lifestyle, their cultures didn't have much complexity at all compared to modern times. Communication was extremely basic, just a few hundred words for the really important stuff, like warning about dangers, giving directions, and telling stories around the nightly campfire. No schools, governments, or establishments like we have today. The family was pretty much the beginning and end of their world. Each generation passed down vital skills and knowledge about hunting, gathering plants, making tools, and reading the rhythms of nature for survival. While we complain about our smartphone batteries dying, these ancestors were learning to track woolly mammoths, butcher bison carcasses, and forage for edible plants and roots from the land. Buckle up, folks, because we're about to take a wild ride back to the Stone Age of Stone Ages, the Lower Paleolithic period around 2.5 million years ago. This was like the prehistoric software update that changed the human game forever. Now I know what you're thinking. 2.5 million years? That's a dinosaur territory, but stick with me here. Our human ancestors during this era were just starting to figure out this crazy little thing called technology. I'm talking Fred Flintstone levels of cutting edge. These clever cavemen and women were the original innovators, rocking some seriously basic but oh so important tools. We're not talking iPhone levels of gadgetry. Nope, they were all about the simple pleasures. Cleavers and hand axes crafted from teardrop shaped rocks. Can you picture using one of those bad boys to hack apart a woolly mammoth carcass or butcher a mighty bison? Because that's exactly what our ancestral homies were doing with their slick new stone gadgets. Cleavers were like the proto knives, thick meaty slabs ready to chop and slice through all that paleolithic protein. And let's not forget those trusty hand axes either. The Swiss army blades of prehistoric times, perfect for everything from cutting hides to smashing nuts and root veggies. Our human ancestors were basically building a fancy new app called Survival with each innovative rock they shaped. But who were the genius caveman developers behind these groundbreaking creations? Give it up for the OG innovator gangs, Homo habilis and Homo erectus. These squads of stocky dudes and dudettes were raising the roof on tooltech. Crafting hand axes and cleavers out of random rocks was just step one though. Our big-brained human ancestors took things to another level by essentially programming these tools for specialized tasks. It was like unlocking the full Mastering Stone package. Fast forward to the Middle Paleolithic era, a span of time stretching from 300,000 to 30,000 years ago. This was the upgrade era for tools, where our ingenious forebears began to get fancy with their rock creations. The Mousterian tool industry was the talk of the town, and those high-quality flint tools were the envy of every prehistoric tribe. Now picture this sleek, versatile points that were the Swiss army knives of their day, perfect for cutting, scraping, and even hunting. Complementing these remarkable creations were the scrapers, aptly named for their unparalleled ability to strip animal hides and clean plant material with effortless precision. These were the essential tools that paved the way for survival in the unforgiving Middle Paleolithic. But the true stars of this era were the Neanderthals, 
those cool, stocky folks who left an indelible mark on human history. With their distinctive physique and remarkable cave dwellings, they were well equipped to tackle the challenges of the Ice Age. More than just stone tool users, the Neanderthals were skilled hunters and gatherers, intimately connected to their environment. They weren't merely surviving, they were thriving with their own unique culture and traditions that still captivate anthropologists to this day. As the curtain rose on the Upper Paleolithic era, spanning from 40,000 to 10,000 BCE, humanity was poised for a grand finale that would redefine our capabilities. This was the age of high-tech stone tools, and the blade tools were the rock stars of the period. Imagine thin, razor-sharp flakes that were the cutting-edge technology of their day, designed for precision cutting, carving, and conquering tasks with unparalleled efficiency. But our ancestors weren't content with just rocks. They began to explore the possibilities of bone and antler, unleashing a whole new world of tool potential. Specialized implements for sewing, engraving, and even artistry emerged, ushering in a renaissance of tool making that would forever change the course of human ingenuity. You're probably familiar with the Homo sapien. Just like us, they were modern humans, but living in a vastly different world. What truly sets them apart, however, is their remarkable contribution to art and culture. For instance, they practiced cave paintings, the first known expression of human creativity and connection with the world around them. These stunning works of art adorn the walls of caves, showcasing the beliefs, experiences, and cultural richness of our ancestors. But art was merely the tip of the iceberg. This era witnessed the seeds of complex human societies being sown. Communities flourished, cooperation blossomed, and knowledge was shared like never before. It was a time when the foundations of our modern world were being laid, one intricate brushstroke and carefully crafted tool at a time. Now let's talk about the Mesolithic Age, the oft-forgotten middle child nestled between the Stone Age of the Paleolithic and the dawn of the Neolithic era. Spanning a period of roughly 10,000 to 8,000 BCE, this was a time of intriguing changes and adaptations for our ancestors. After eons of nomadic wandering, our forebears began to settle down, establishing semi-permanent camps near prime hunting and gathering spots. They had discovered the age-old real estate mantra, location, location, location. And when it came to technology, they were upgrading in style, bidding farewell to the clunky tools of the Paleolithic and embracing the sleek, finely crafted microliths. These diminutive stone marvels were the Swiss army knives of their day, tackling everything from cutting to woodworking with effortless precision. But that's not all. Our ingenious ancestors had unlocked the secrets of attaching these microliths to wooden shafts, giving birth to cool creations like arrows and harpoons. And here's the kicker. Fishing became the hottest trend to sweep the Mesolithic world. Our ancestors had perfected the art of catching fish, armed with hooks and nets that would make any modern angler green with envy. They were also experimenting with plant processing, dipping their toes into the waters of farming and domestication, a prelude to the agricultural revolution that would forever change the course of human civilization. While their art and culture may have been understated, with a few tantalizing cave paintings and artifacts offering a glimpse into their world, we can imagine the earliest versions of decorating one's humble abode. And let's not forget the ever-changing environment, for as the world warmed and glaciers retreated, plant life shifted, forcing our ancestors to adapt and thrive in a constantly evolving landscape. But the true star of the show was the Neolithic Age, the era where humanity hit the jackpot of agriculture and animal husbandry. Tired of chasing their food across vast expanses, our ancestors made a game-changing discovery. Why not grow it themselves? And just like that, they ushered in a new era of food production that would forever change the course of human history. With farming and domesticated animals providing a steady supply of sustenance, the population exploded and our ancestors put down roots, creating cozy villages and towns, the first steps towards the complex urban centers that would one day dot the globe. The Neolithic era was a time of technological sophistication, with our ancestors crafting pottery to store their bounty and weaving textiles that would have made any modern fashionista swoon. But the real showstoppers were their upgraded stone tools designed to make everyday life a breeze and facilitate the blossoming trade networks that would connect distant communities. Another outstanding era is the Chalcolithic Age, often called the Copper Age, around 3300 BCE. What made this era truly special was the introduction of copper into the mix. Copper was a game changer, for it could be extracted from ores and shaped into an array of wondrous creations. As people embraced this innovative material, their settlements grew larger and more organized, 
buoyed by the handy copper tools that made life on the farm or in the workshop a breeze. But our ancestors weren't content with mere practicality. They also used copper to adorn themselves with fancy jewelry and decorations. For these items were more than just ornaments. They were symbols of status and creative expression. Bronze Age, a universal start date, proved elusive. For this revolutionary era took its sweet time reaching various regions, kickstarting around 3300 BCE in some corners of the world. What defined this epoch was the ingenious use of bronze, a strong and durable metal forged by alloying copper with tin or other metals. Bronze was a true game changer, surpassing the capabilities of plain copper with its unparalleled strength and toughness. This technological advancement wasn't a mere improvement. It utterly transformed the way people lived and interacted with the world around them. In the realm of weaponry, the Bronze Age ushered in a golden era, for bronze allowed the creation of highly effective swords, spears, and armor, elevating warfare to a whole new level of intensity. These formidable weapons gave armies an edge, and conflicts took on a different dimension of complexity. But the impact of bronze extended far beyond the battlefield. In everyday life, bronze tools made tasks like farming and construction infinitely more efficient, propelling productivity to new heights. Talking about construction, the earliest phase of Stonehenge dates back to around 3100 BCE, firmly placing its origins in the late Neolithic period. During this time, our ancestors erected the first earthworks and dug a circular ditch, likely used for ceremonial purposes. However, the iconic standing stones that make Stonehenge so recognizable were not erected until the Bronze Age, around 2500-2400 BCE. Bronze Age societies weren't content with just functional objects. They were masters of intricate metalwork, crafting detailed sculptures and producing awe-inspiring jewelry that showcased their artistic prowess. The advancement of pottery techniques was another hallmark of this era, as people created more sophisticated and visually appealing ceramics, showcasing their craftsmanship and aesthetic sensibilities. And when it came to architecture, Bronze Age civilizations held nothing back, constructing impressive monuments that often served religious, social, or commemorative purposes. Iron Age, the era of iron strength and breakthrough innovations. The Iron Age didn't merely follow the Bronze Age. It stormed onto the scene around 1200 BCE in various parts of the world, fashionably late in some locales, but always making a grand entrance. The most crucial development of this epic was undoubtedly the mastery of iron. Our ancestors, ever resourceful, realized that bronze was formidable, but what if they took their prowess a notch higher? And thus they unleashed the power of iron tools and weapons, stronger, more durable, and ready to conquer the world. With these iron marvels at their disposal, people in the Iron Age made substantial strides. Farming received a much needed boost thanks to more efficient tools, and construction projects took off like a rocket, reaching unprecedented heights. And let us not forget the impact of iron on warfare. Iron weapons made a thunderous entrance on the battlefield, forever altering the course of conflicts and the fates of nations. But the true star of the Iron Age was its pivotal role in shaping ancient empires and cultures. We're talking about heavyweights like the Hittites, Assyrians, and eventually the mighty Roman Empire. Civilizations that knew how to wield iron's power and built some of the greatest societies the world has ever known. So there you have it, dear friends. The lowdown on why delving into prehistoric ages is such a monumental endeavor. It's like unlocking the secrets of our past, a time when our ancestors were inventing, adapting, and building the foundations for everything we know today. Now let's hear from you. Which prehistoric era intrigued you the most? Kindly let us know below in the comment.